Y'all may be seated. What a special day, friends, family, loved ones. We are all gathered here on this beautiful January day to give recognition to the worth and to the beauty of this love. And to add our best wishes and our blessings to the words which today will unite Robert and Sarah as one in marriage. Marriage is the beginning of a new life. It's about fulfilling long held dreams. Friendship, family, faith, partnership, having found that one person you know you long to spend the rest of your days beside. Marriage has endured through the ages, continues to live as the promise of a beautiful dream that's come true. Love between a man and a woman is a love that's generous in giving and it's generous in receiving. It's full of laughter, full of mercy, Robert, Sarah, no doubt, will take some things. First and foremost, that is trust. Trust that you know in your hearts that you truly want the best for each other. That you would always put each other first before anyone or anything else. It will no doubt take dedication. Dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and to grow ever closer together throughout the years. Faith is no doubt an important element of your marriage, and that is a faith that says we're always going to cross the threshold from today to tomorrow, hand in hand, and arm in arm. Even though none of us know exactly what tomorrow will bring. And last but certainly not least, it will take commitment. A commitment to hold true to this journey that you now both pledge to share together. And now you stand today before this loving group of family and of friends, ready to acknowledge to Almighty God and to this world, this is my beloved, the one with whom I choose to create the rest of my life. At this time we're going to move into the vows portion of your ceremony and I'll start with you, Robert, and ask you a couple of very important questions. And a good answer to these questions will be the words I do. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, do you take Sarah to be your wife? I do. Do you promise to love her, to honor her, to nurture her, to cherish her, to protect her, forsaking all others and hope? Sarah, do you take Robert to be your husband? I do. Do you promise to love him, to honor him, to nurture him, to cherish him, and to protect him, forsaking all others? I do. I do. Y'all will prepare your rings for exchange. The wedding ring is that symbol of the, of the unbroken circle of love, and it's like this complete, never-ending circles. Love that's given freely doesn't have a beginning, and it doesn't have any. These are gifts that y'all prepared, prepared for one another. I remind you always of this special day of love and commitment. Robert, if you would be so kind, sir, as to take the ring you have for Sarah, if you would place that on her ring finger. Would hold her hand and look her in the eyes and speak these words to her. <laughs> <laughs> Nerves always cause us to swell a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got it. All right. Robert, you would hold her hand and repeat after me and speak these words to Sarah. I, Robert, I, Robert. take you, Sarah, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. From this day on, I choose to 
live with you and to live with you, and to laugh with you and to laugh with you, to celebrate the joys of life with you, to celebrate the joys of life with you, and to comfort you with your damn heart, to wipe your tears with my hands, wipe your tears with my hands, to care for you with my entire being, to care for you with my entire being, to share with you all that I am. As we treat each other with tenderness, as we treat each other with tenderness, with compassion, with compassion, and with love, and with love. With this ring, with this ring, I do what I do. Sarah, if you would do the same, if you would take the rings you have for Robert, and you would place that on his ring finger, and then if you would repeat after me and speak these words to him. I, Sarah. I, Sarah. Take you, Robert. Take you, Robert. To be my husband. To be my husband. From this day on, I choose. From this day on, I choose. To live with you. To live with you. And to laugh with you. And to laugh with you. To celebrate the joys of life with you. To celebrate the joys of life with you. And to comfort you if you are downhearted. And to comfort you if you are downhearted. To wipe your tears with my hands. To wipe your tears with my hands. To care for you with my entire being. To care for you with my entire being. To share with you all that I am. To share with you all that I am. As we treat each other with tenderness. As we treat each other with tenderness. With compassion. With compassion. And with love. And with love. With this ring. With this ring. I do what. I do what. Robert, Sarah, today, y'all are certainly blessed with what I am. Considered to be one of the greatest gifts that God gave to us as humanity, and that is that gift of abiding love and devotion between two individuals. I know that there are many friends, family, and loved ones with us here today. No doubt some may be even peering over the bowels of heaven. They are with us in heart and spirit. We wish you all the joy, all the happiness, and all the success that life will now bring you. In so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in marriage, you have promised that love before all of us today through these vows. The authority that's given to me by the great state of Arkansas is my privilege and my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Robert, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Robert Brooker. <laughs> <laughs>